Well, as we wrap up April, uh, just a quick reminder that tomorrow is our first Tuesday of the month retirement income luncheon right here in Eden Prairie. We'll be talking about Social Security and the seven keys you need to be aware of to um, ensure that you're optimizing your benefits. Uh, please do go to the website, see if there's any tickets left. I do believe there are a couple. So if you hurry over to the website there, grab a couple of tickets. We'll be getting started right away at 11.30 tomorrow morning. The federal government's initial estimate disappointed many analysts, even with plenty of potential for upward revision later. After all, fourth quarter 2011 had brought growth of 3%. Economists pulled by briefing.com expended the first quarter estimate to come in at about 2.5%. Personal spending rose almost 3% for the quarter, with car sales playing, car sales playing the largest role in the gain. Sub subtract, vehicle, vehicle, <laughs> subtract vehicle purchases and the consumption increase was only 1.1%, the smallest in four quarters. The final April Reuters in the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey came in at 76.4, up almost a percent higher than the prior 75.7 .7 reading. Economists polled by briefing.com thought that there would be no advance. March's final survey had a 76.2 reading. Pending home sales improved by about 4% in March to reach their highest level since April of 2010, according to the report from the National Association of Realtors. Another bit of good news, which was unexpected, February's S&P K-Shiller Home Price Index showed prices increasing about 0.2% overall, the first advance recorded in 10 months. Last week, Zillow said the median U.S. home value had increased a half percent in March, the best monthly gain in six years. The sour note in last week's real estate roundup was new home sales. The Census Bureau said that they were down about 7% in March. However, the median sale price was up almost 6.5% year over year. The tech-heavy NASDAQ index rose over 2.25% across April 23rd to the 27th to settle at 3,069 on Friday. The Dow gained over 1.5% across the same stretch to finish the week at 13,228 while the S&P 500 advanced almost 2% last week, closing at 14.03 on Friday. With one market day to go in April, today, only the Dow is in positive territory for the month. Here's what's going on this week. Today, March personal spending data arrives and several companies are releasing their fourth, first quarter results. And tomorrow, the Institute for Supply and Management's April Manufacturing PMI is out plus more data from more companies. And on Wednesday, brings March factory orders and again, more first quarter earnings results. That's right, it's a busy week. Thursday we get Institute for Supply Management's non-manufacturing PMI for April, and as well as new initial jobless claims data. And on Friday, the April unemployment report is released and Berkshire Hathaway announces earnings. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. And I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please, be sure to subscribe and join us then. And also, be sure to go check those tickets at the website for our Social Security Talk tomorrow.